tight machine, dude. I really like how it feels so far. This thing is smooth. just finished a nice little breather here this place was beautiful this is lake webb by the way uh absolutely gorgeous there's tons of these little tiny lakes all around northern wisconsin all right mike and i are trading this thing's all set to go so i'll turn it on right now you should be all good to go have fun man whoa i'm on a kfx 450 Oh, I stalled it. Isn't that hilarious? Bone stock. Ooh, the clutch is quick. Pete, your quad is loud. Wow, that sounds good. I think Mike's excited to have a pipe. Tell you one thing from this and that KFX, this seat is squishy, but there's a lot more low-end torque on this. It is insane. This is one of the only 450s that has reverse. The gear ratio, he said, is crazy short on this. Shifts very nice. Dude, this thing is very light. Yeah. Like, everything feels very light. When you get into the corners and the tight stuff, that seat's really nice for maneuvering around on. Yeah, it's super easy to move your butt. So. Yep. over here we'll make sure Brakes, dude. So easy to slide. I love the throttle that Pete has. 
Looks good, feels good, it's responsive. I just love how these smaller engines love to rev, dude. It's got a lot of rev range, a bit of a power band. The gears are crazy short though. The Raptor's definitely got a few mile an hour on this. Woo, look at those brakes. Stop just in time. This thing is fun, dude. I'm really thinking I need one of these. That pipe makes a world of a difference. I know I rode this a uh, few weeks back when we were drag racing. But getting it out here is a whole new level of experience. These are the trails this was built for. Let's see if I can rip a wheelie here. I got it in fourth gear. Pull up. Oh. Let this dust settle a bit. trade <laughs> I love the low end torque the thing is a powerhouse I can ride a gear lower than I ride on that and I can just pull through everything I keep grabbing I keep going to upshift this thing oh, yeah. and there's nothing to upshift to if you hold it out in fifth long enough it'll definitely keep pulling I'm having fun with it if you want to keep riding that yeah dude keep ripping man Here they are. Got our wide open and fifth right now. You know, these things aren't exactly made to go like crazy fast on a top speed level. And that's why I got the Raptor. It's so good at, you know, these those higher fourth gear, fifth gear rides. I took a right turn back there because I am not seeing my fearless leader. Oh, there he is. Wait here, make sure Pete can see us. I 
I could ride more behind the Raptor, but that's why I put that camera on Mike. out pretty good right now but it's working well Super easy to slide over. <laughs> Me like. <laughs> you want to grab another gear on that? There's a few times I was just pegged out coming through there. It's fast, isn't it? It's fast, it's smooth. It's so, it's so smooth. It's a Cadillac, man. The only thing is, like, last back here, it came in a little hot, and I got a whole lot of front end push. This is so easy to corner with. Corners with, super easy. Come up, come over to somebody rolling hill, stand up and torque it up. Oh, it's got the torque to do it. This one, this doesn't really want to do high speed wheelies. It doesn't. And third, fourth gear is about the best I could get out of it. I, I tried one and fourth. I couldn't get it up. I only tried once. You have, to, um, you have to use the clutch to do it. Stop here, guys. This is the best trail up here, right here. A little bit of it got logged out, but it comes back and it's the best smooth, windy. That sounds really good, man. This is a ton of fun to rip up here. The, the trail right some... today. It's really bumpy. Usually yeah, it's pretty really smooth up here. Yeah. Hey, compared to Spider, it's pretty easy. Right. But it's fun, and I can imagine how fun this would be with damp conditions. Um, really tight. Yeah. We'll turn this off. 